figured I'd see how this would work out driving a metal halide. So this is just a 70 water Phillips metal halide. You know, these are pretty actually hard to run just off of little DIY circuits like this. But this particular ZVS seems to do a pretty good run it at about 12 volts and get the bulb to ignite and it'll just sort of slowly over time get brighter and brighter as these tend to do they take a little bit of time to get up to full brightness so I'm gonna screw that in and run this with the lights off and I noticed it about 12 volts pulls about a couple amps and stays there and it'll run this for a pretty long time all right so got it set up I'm just gonna connect this battery terminal um, I can get it to stay. Alright, there we go. You can see that thing ignited. And um, now it's just gonna it's gonna show over time, it's just gonna keep getting brighter and brighter. All the other lights off. Nice little arc in there that's uh, heating that bulb up pretty good. can't really obviously I can't really point the camera directly at it See, after a while it starts to kind of flicker around a little bit this is just a random 12 volts that I'm putting it on um, not real sure the optimum voltage to actually drive one of these but you know like I say that seems to work about 12 volts I guess I'm pulling a couple amps or so so I mean 24 watts to run a 70 watt metal halide it's somewhat it's something that looks about at least half brightness <laughs> that's not bad i think that's pretty cool but that thing is getting bright really can't record it too well yeah doesn't uh light up the room like sunshine or anything like that the bulb is pretty warm uh about now yeah sucker's getting pretty hot Hot to the touch. Of course, it's nowhere near as hot as it would be uh, running off the ballast line power. But again, I've uh, I've randomly tried to run these now and then just off certain particular high voltage output circuits that I felt like would push some pretty good current, and uh, really haven't had a lot of luck. But this little guy seems to do it, and it's still it's actually still slightly picking up in brightness. Hasn't quite got all the way there. It's about there. can't even really block the light coming off this thing down there. It's kind of strange how I can't really block the light. Let's see if I can cut this brightness way down. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Just a little cheapo 12 volt. You know, it's not really insane uh, high current cells or anything. Just real cheap ones. So it's not going to push a couple of amps for a super long time. But, uh, you know, run that for a while. It's pretty cool running a little metal halide off a battery like that but again uh, what's just kind of funny is if you know if I was to sort of try to design a lighting circuit uh, using this setup not using LEDs you know I could try to incandescent or fluorescent or whatever uh, actually seems like for whatever reason this metal halide is a fairly efficient option compared to the others it's not pushing way more amperage and actually get some decent little light out that guy that's pretty cool. LEDs obviously probably the better way to go efficiency wise. Yeah. Puts out sort of a strange color that thing. But another thing I've noticed is now that I've run it for a while, it'll run probably run for much longer. Disconnect it. See that bulb still red hot, that thing's gonna be cooling down. So while that's still hot, if I hook it up again, then all I get is that little pilot light going down in there little tiny arc what happens is I need to let it cool down for a while before I can reignite it like that and that's probably because I don't have any type of igniter going on other than just the beefy arc upon first uh, applying voltage to show the current real quick I've got the battery disconnected I'll cut it on see it's right a little bit under two amps might go a little bit over that as it's uh, heating up so got the ignition there and now it's just gonna keep getting brighter and brighter and brighter as it does so that's pretty cool but just kind of wanted to show so as that's uh doing its thing increase the voltage put about 15 about the same amps probably gonna get brighter a little bit quicker now that it is ignited bring it below 12 volts you can see it's about nine and a half or about a little bit under nine Amperage goes up very slightly, but it still runs. Um, 
So if I bring it all the way down to about seven something, see when I pull in more amps to get it done, you know, still run. So really it seems like the issue there, if you don't have some type of way to ignite it, you just gotta have the voltage. I seem to need about nine, 10 volts uh, at the least to get it to ignite, but it's sort of like a fluorescent. But again, uh, 12 volts seems like a pretty good deal. So leave it right about there. See it's doing its thing. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, a little, little battery like that could actually run a, a setup like that for a while. You could probably freak an electrician out doing that <laughs> if you make it small enough. Like, hey, look at this middle headlight I'm running in my hand. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool.